Hi guys, here again and I welcome you into our video for today. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the brand new Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. Now, this over here is Samsung's brand new laptop. It is running the Snapdragon X Elite processor. And you can see it comes in this box right here. When you open up the box, you get the cable, the USB Type-C cable, and the charger brick for the laptop. So that's all you get in the box. So let's go ahead and talk about the actual laptop. Again, this is a Snapdragon X Elite laptop. Now you can get these in a couple of different configurations. There is a 14-inch model, and there's a 16-inch model. This one right here is the top and 16-inch model with the most powerful Snapdragon X Elite processor. It also has 16 GB of RAM and 1 TB of storage. Now, if you do go for the 14-inch model, you're gonna get slightly slower Snapdragon X Elite processor and 512 GB storage. Alright, so these Snapdragon X Elite laptops are basically designed for portable power on the go, with long battery life and powerful AI capabilities. We are gonna look at some details, but first, let's dive in and look at the keyboard, look at the pores, look at the display, and let's go over everything one by one. Of course, we're gonna be talking about Microsoft Capilot, the AI capabilities, the Samsung ecosystem, and more. Just so you may know, that's if you don't already consider it, the build quality on this laptop is definitely amazing. It's a precision machine. Everything feels rock solid. The texture is super smooth. It's super thin, lightweight, a very good looking laptop. Okay, so, starting with the ports on the left side, what we have is we have an HDMI 2.1 port, and then we have two USB-C 4.0 ports. These, of course, can be used for charging as well. And then over here, we have a little LED light. Basically, when the laptop is on or charging, that LED light is gonna be the indicator light. On the right side, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack. We have a standard USB port, and then we have a micro SD expansion slot. This is gonna be for adding additional storage. This is not a card reader. It's to add storage using micro SD now. One more thing that we have is we have a built-in fingerprint sensor in the power button. So take a look at this I'm gonna tap on space key that's gonna turn on the screen. It's locked in right now but if I put my finger right here, it just logs me in right away. So we have a built-in fingerprint sensor. Really responsive built-in fingerprint sensor. Now you can see we have a massive trackpad. This is a high-quality trackpad. And you can see the mouse over there very precise and I can press on it. When pressed, it gives pretty obvious feedback that makes me know exactly what I'm doing. It is a smooth, sliding and precise trackpad. Now, with the keyboard, if you look over here, we have a full numeric keypad, which is what I like. Personally, I'm a numbers guy. I like my keypad for easy number input. Now, here's one more. Look at the layout of the actual keyboard. Okay, and if I press on these keys, high quality keys with nice feedback. Although, keyboard field quality is oftentimes user dependent, so I do encourage you guys to go out there and actually check it in store. If you can, could decide on the keyboard feel. But this is high quality. The Book Edge 4 does have backlighting, too. So here you can see the backlights very nice and clear when the lights are out. Now, these new Snapdragon X Elite laptops are specifically designed for AI. They have special processing power just for AI. And of course, we get a dedicated button for the AI. So when I click on this, it launches the Microsoft Capilla, and I get the full capabilities right over here. So if you have used ChatGPT, this is basically the same thing right here, built into your computer, and it's gonna be super fast and responsive now, because this is a Samsung laptop. When you tap on FN and tap on F1, it will bring up Samsung-specific settings. So e.g., if I go to sound right here, and if I click on it, you can see I have Dolby Atmos that I can enable. Now, there you have it. Also, I've got my notifications. I've got unique display properties. Let me X this out. Here's some unique display properties. Again, these are all Samsung related, and if you have a Samsung phone, they're gonna look very familiar. Alright, we're gonna talk about the display in a second, but you do have this F keys, and you can access all the functions on these F1 to F12 keys. 
so great massive trackpad for easy manipulation and a great keyboard. With that said, let's quickly talk about the display. One thing I think I should quickly show to you guys is, it does have the anti-reflective coating. So this light right over here, that's a studio light, and essentially very bright. But you can see, because of the anti-reflective coating, you can barely see the intensity of its brightness. In fact, here's that light. Okay, this is a very bright light. And if I look over here, you can barely see the intensity. Of course, you'll see it, but the entire reflective coating is so strong that it dramatically reduces the glare from these lights. Or if you're outdoor in the sunlight, you're going to be able to see this laptop much better than many other products. It is going to be a 3K display, and it's also a touchscreen display. And you can see the resolution is 2880 by 1800 and you also have a 120Hz display refresh rate. And the best thing is you are able to actually activate HDR. So if you have any HDR content you want to watch on this, that is also possible. So it's an HDR supporting display. There's no question that this is a very high quality display for watching movies, looking at images, working with images, or any other kind of video consumption, and even some gaming. Now, with the display, you are also able to go into Samsung-specific display settings that come up right here. And if I do go to display, you can see I've got the option to pick from different modes, like vivid, natural photo editing, movie watching, whatever you need. And then I can change it to cooler or warmer display, and then I have the ability to even turn on HDR+. And additional details are available in this display menu that are just for Samsung side of the things. Now, let's take a look at the speakers. First and foremost, if I go to my Samsung settings, you're gonna see that, under sound, we do have the Dolby Atmos enabled, so that with that on, you're gonna have richer and better sound on the device. And now, I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna play a track. So I'm pointing out to our speakers there on the sides, right over here and over here. Okay, so let's play this up and you can see the quality. They are loud. They are high quality. Okay, those were a couple samples. Now, I will tell you guys, if you have experienced the MacBook speakers, the MacBook speakers, for the Pro models, the higher end models are actually better. So if those are at 100%, I would give this a score of 85 to 90. They're still very good speakers, just not at the level of a MacBook Pro speaker setup. Alright, so, these laptops with the Snapdragon X Elite processors are specifically designed for AI. So, what we have on this laptop is, we have the dedicated AI key, which is right over here. So when you click this, it brings up Microsoft Copilot, which is no joke. It is a powerful AI companion. You can basically ask it anything. It'll get you answers far superior compared to a Google search result. So let's say I want to do something creative. I will launch Copilot with the button, or I can just launch the app. But you can see right over here, I have a text, so I want to create an image of the description of what I just typed. So let's see what it does for us. Okay, tap on submit, and then it's gonna start the process now. Let's see what kind of results we get with this AI. It's saying, I'll try to create that. Okay, and it's doing its magic. It is powered by DAL E3, as you can see. So let's see what happens. There we go. I mean, that is incredible. I said, a powerful warrior on a distant planet with a glowing aura around him. And it gave me four examples. I can tap on these guys and I can inspect them individually, download them, do whatever I want. But again, if you have used ChatGPT, just think everything you can do there, you can do it here as well. So that's one thing I'm gonna show you. Another thing that's pretty amazing. 
All right. So, right over here, what I'm using is I'm using the link to Windows feature on my Samsung phone. So the phone is being projected to the larger display of the laptop. And if I use any Samsung AI features here, I'm able to benefit from a larger display. I can have the phone sitting down, and I can be working on my PC. But that's not what I want to talk about. That is already an existing feature. Projecting your phone to your computer is an existing feature. What I do want to show you guys is, if I go into Microsoft Copilot, take a look at this, I go over here and I create a new conversation in the Copilot dialog box, OK. And then at the bottom, I go to Plugins, OK. And I enabled the phone. Plug in right here. It's enabled right now. Now, I can talk to Microsoft Copilot, and I can ask it to do things on my phone, like texting people or getting phone numbers. And look at what I'm gonna ask it. I'm gonna ask Copilot to get me a phone number from the actual smartphone. So look at this. What is Samuel's phone number? So it says, using phone, and it's gonna get me the number. Samuel's phone number is 000000000. If you need to reach out, feel free to get- Okay, you can see, that's a number I've saved here, just for testing, and it just pulled it up. No problem. And I can also come in here and say, send a text message to Samuel and tell him, let's meet up tonight for dinner. Certainly, you can interact with the dialog box to confirm that you want to send a message. Okay, so I can say, yes, proceed, or no. Thanks. Okay, so you can see Copilot can actually interact directly with my phone by using natural language to fetch numbers, send text messages. So that's great. Now, one more thing I want to talk about is a Samsung ecosystem. So, here I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet, that's the Tabs 9 Ultra. Then we have the laptop. So I can do things very easily, such as this. I can project this display to that display or extend this display to that display. So I can have twin displays. No problem using the second screen application. I'm gonna click right here and look at what happens. Gonna connect over there. I'm gonna say, allow connection. And within a few seconds, I'm gonna have a dual display. So right now we have a duplicate display, but I can come over here, I can click over here, and I can say, extend. And now I'm gonna be able to extend this display over there. So I'm gonna have a larger workspace. So now I can take this guy, okay. And I can just put it right over here, no problem. And of course, I can transfer files back and forth between these guys, or even a Samsung phone with no problems using Quick Share. So certainly there are Samsung ecosystem benefits. Everything works together very well. Now, this laptop is primarily designed for the creative professional. It does have really great CPU performance. In fact, it has higher scores than the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Ultra. With the Intel 9 Ultra processor, you can see the results on the screen. So if you're buying this for work, for using Microsoft Office, like Word Excel, PowerPoint, or you want to use Photoshop or even to use Lightroom, including AI-powered apps such as Company Pilot for productivity, this is gonna be a great laptop. The key is that you are gonna be able to get the full power out of the laptop, even when you are on battery which is one of the highlights of these laptops. So you will get great CPU performance, even on battery power. But I do want to specifically tell you guys that this is not a laptop for gaming. Let's quickly talk about that and get that out of the way. If you're looking for a laptop for gaming, this is not going to be the one. There's a couple reasons for that. One of the reasons is because it simply doesn't have dedicated graphics card. And if you want to play any game at high settings with a high frame rate, you need that dedicated graphics card. This doesn't have it. Number 2, games are based on the x86 architecture. This laptop is running on ARM architecture, so there's some conversion happening. And during the conversion from the x86 to ARM, you're also losing performance. So, you might be able to play some games with low settings, low resolution and an acceptable frame rate, but the moment you rank up the resolution with higher graphic settings, you're just gonna get starters and low performance. So, again, if you want a gaming laptop, you need to get one with a dedicated graphics card. And these don't have those. And right now, that's for all Snapdragon X Elite laptops. 
Now, the battery life on these laptops is supposed to be very good. Samsung says you can get 20 plus hours of video watch time. But there are some nuances. Obviously, that's not gonna work if you have maximum brightness and maximum speaker volume. So, with medium brightness, medium volume, you can probably easily watch 10 plus hours of video. When it comes to mixed use, some works. Some video watching, browsing again. You are gonna be able to get 10 plus hours. No problem. I have had this laptop for the last 4H, full brightness, just turn on like this, doing random things. And it went from 80% to 36%. And even now, based on my use, it says, I have 1H and 42 minutes left over. But again, that is full brightness, never turns off or goes to sleep. And I've been coming here and just doing random things like running, benchmarks, playing games and stuff like that. And you can see, I have it set on best performance, so it's using maximum battery at all times. So, if I turn down my settings, I can easily see this going 10 plus hours and even 15 hours if I'm doing like duty stuff. These are my assumptions based on what I've seen so far. Now, when it comes to charging, you are able to charge this laptop from 0 to 40% with the included adapter in 30 minutes. So you do get fast charging. Finally, so, it looks like we have talked about everything and certainly, this laptop has great build quality. When you touch it, when you hold it, it feels like a million dollars. It's got great performance, great battery life, and all the ports you need from a laptop. But this is not gonna be a gaming laptop. Do not buy this for gaming. If you're a student, if you are a professional, a creative professional. And if you want something that's portable, thin and lightweight, this is a great laptop to go with. Of course, you've got the latest AI capabilities, and of course, you have the Samsung ecosystem benefit state. Stay tuned for more videos about this laptop. But if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let's read from you in the comment. Do have a fantastic days ahead.